Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley for tuning in for the first time and today I slayed this gorgeous 20 inch kinky straight highlight blonde lace wig. Now this one comes courtesy of Kalai Hair and I teamed up with them to bring you this very easy beginner friendly install. For me the highlight of this one is the hairline as well as the parting. I wanted to give you a little bit of natural realness along the hairline to make sure that it didn't look too wiggy or too funny. Now of course Highlight blonde or even kinky straight is not for everyone, but I consider this a really cute, fun switch up. It's a nice, beautiful, warm tone, so it's easier to pull off than like the ash blonde or the 613 blonde. Yeah, it definitely is a change for me. I think it really does complement my complexion and I'm definitely feeling it. So for this install, we're not going to be doing any color. They've done the process for us, but we are going to go ahead and melt her down really nicely. And then we added just a little bit of subtle baby hair. We tweezed her out just a little bit and then we focused on making sure this part was super flat. We're going to do a little bit of flat ironing so you'll see how beautiful and vibrant the kinky texture is off the bat and then how we kind of tamed her just a little bit, not too much. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. Okay, babies, let's jump right into it. This is the wig straight out of the box. I was just looking at it and trying it on for size. Here is a look at the inside construction of the cap. We are working with a 13 by 4, 180% density, 20 inch lace wig. She has blonde highlights. The texture is kinky straight. And of course, you guys already know we're going to slay her to the gods this is what she looks like from the back she appears extremely full but if you've seen the intro and the thumbnail you know we're gonna silk press her out a little bit to kind of tame her so you guys can see the versatility now hashtag my eyes are always watering hashtag i always need coffee coffee is life so i was just taking a little break and getting myself together before the install now we've pulled the hair back, let's go ahead and cut off the excess lace. Here I'm showing you what the excess lace looks like compared to my complexion. Absolutely perfect, a perfect fit for sure. Be sure to also check out the description box for some discounts on this one. I'm pretty sure Kalai has some kind of discount codes or sales going on, especially in the light of the holidays. So be sure to check that out. While I'm rambling, we're also working on plucking out the hairline. So I've been, as I'm getting a little bit older in this big old age, I'm realizing how important it is to make sure that everything looks good and just taking my time when it comes to everything. Like I feel like I've been in a world of like, go fast, get it done, get it done. And I'm starting to slow down a little bit and just appreciate the little things like customizing your wigs. So that's exactly what we're doing right now. Just taking a nice sharp pair of tweezers and just making sure the hairline is as customized as I can get it. Luckily for me, this one was already, uh, the knots were already bleached on this one. So I didn't have to do that. We're literally just going to pluck out the hairline and make it look a lot more gradient and thin along the front you guys can see i'm kind of speeding through it but you guys seen how thick this piece was and we kind of thinned it out and made it look a lot more uh natural and realistic especially because the hair is so full you don't want to elude like the barbie hair look in the front you want it to look nice and melted and snatched and we're definitely going to deliver today here I'm showing you the edge control from bdagbitty.com. Stay tuned for a revamp to the site. We are adding new products very, very, very soon, sooner than you think. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply a glueless adhesive. I just did a light coat because this one did fit pretty good along the hairline. So I didn't need to put too much. It kind of just sat there naturally. Blow drying on a cool setting. And now you guys can see how well it melted. And we haven't even added a lace tint just yet. I'm going to repeat that step on this side as well as the other side and just make sure that the wig is bonded down from ear to ear. This is going to help the wig to look a lot more melted. Even if a wig fits you glueless, it's going to look a little bit more like snatched, if you will, when you bond it down. And that's just my opinion. I also want to mention this one does come in a few different options. You can get 150% uh, density or 180. I opted for 180, which gives you a lot more fullness. Um, also with lengths, you can get 16, 18, 
20, 22, 24. Um, and then I believe the 24 inch is actually a new arrival and like a special offer. So just check the website and you'll see all the details there. Here I'm going in with the Dynamic Duo and it's just our wax stick from bedagbeauty.com paired with the electric hot comb. And I just really want to snatch that parting and that hairline, make it look as straight and like straight out of the scalp as possible. And especially when you have like full hair like this it doesn't take away from the fullness and the beauty in the texture by like slicking it out like this this is going to just make it look a lot more realistic because if it's so thick in the parting or even along the hairline that's when it gives like cheap or like beauty supply store and we definitely want to give like just came out of the salon we want to give like expensive very very expensive and as you guys can see we are not disappointing so i wanted to give a foreheady look i think that looks very natural especially when you're doing like natural kinky textures but i also wanted to add a little bit of my taste so i just did two little swoops each one like on the sides kind of like at the arch or a little bit past the arch of the eyebrows i'm setting that off with a little concealer in the parting and the one i chose was fenty as well as a little bit of uh, foundation powder along the hairline and this is just going to make sure everything melts and look as seamless as possible now i'm going in with my babyliss flat iron and i'm just taking my time and going in and just pressing it out i love the fullness in this one and i would prefer to keep it in its natural state when i do like a half up half down or like twisties or cornrows in the front but because i wanted to wear this one down i kind of just wanted to test the limits and see if i add heat what would happen it definitely still kept its fullness but it also gave a lot more tamed you can also see how uh beautiful the hair color is they definitely did an amazing job dyeing this color i love the brown in it because it really really sets off my complexion and then the highlights just give it a fun flare and i love that so this is the look and i love how i was able to just pin it back a little bit and give it some style while still wearing it down absolutely beautiful how good the lace melts and blends with my skin now i'm going to switch up the style and instead of doing the two pins i'm going to put it into a pony in the back i liked both styles but let me know which one you prefer okay ladies so i'm done with the look this one here did come courtesy of kalai hair and as you guys know they already come with the a game when it comes to their packaging it coordinates just like i love to coordinate so i love that this one here is a nice really 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 pretty like satiny silk robe it does have their logo in bows like on the back here and then in the front in gold um and then the actual box was inside of this dust bag super perfect for storing your bag or storing your wigs and traveling with them and then this is the box here and inside you did get um this little goodie bag you see the little cheetah print uh melt belt there are some nice lashes in there and then there also is a kabuki brush also inside we do have two packs of wig caps and then last but certainly not least there is a melt belt wig band that matches so i actually got two milk belts one in this bag and then the one that's gonna match the robe how cute is that for like spinning the night a little spin in the night bag or your travel bag or your robe and then the milk belt that lays your edges um coordinate now because we're going for a um i guess you can say like a non-natural um color for me this isn't a color that would be like technically considered natural i really wanted to pull the hair out of the face and accentuate the hairline so that it can give as natural as possible i didn't want it to look too wiggy or too costumey so again i just wanted to make sure that you can see and accentuate the hairline and i think i did a great job i did do a buzz down center part and i really made sure i stamped it out and made it look as natural as possible this one really gave a beautiful look as soon as i was done like um doing like the parting and you know laying this part down i loved how full it was but i did want to show you the versatility of what it would look like if you go ahead and press it out now i didn't go in and just like extremely silk press it i did kind of like a lazy version of that and i think it came out beautiful this is a lot more tame so it's like a little bit more like work safe work friendly and just easier to um get around with but i do prefer the big baba boom so i'm sure if i co-wash the hair and allow it to air dry we'll get 
get back to the bigness or the fullness of it and I think that that would just look more my taste but again I just wanted to more, more so make sure that I focus on showing you what it will look like if you straightened it out and I'm sure if you really wanted to you can add some curls um not sure if I would add curls to this one but if you just did want to add like the kinky straight curls I think that's cute too I got on this cute little crop top from Zara and I did spill a little bit or get a little bit of makeup on it which was my fault be sure to check out Kalai E hair and I'll have it linked in the description box thank you guys so much for watching and as always I'll see you in the next one smooches